Among the nation's most influential families, the Russells spearhead one of the country's largest minority-owned enterprises. It all began with a plot of land purchased by Herman Russell in 1946. I'm a great admirer of Herman because he started with $150 that he bought a piece of land and built a house on when he was a teenager. And he rented that house out to have some money to go to Tuskegee Institute. Of course, the venture he had started surpassed anything imagined. For over 70 years, Herman Russell has expounded upon his entrepreneurial spirit building an empire worth well over $300 million. Today, his children, Donata, Jerome, and Michael, have grown to embrace the name, legacy, and work ethic, adding a new chapter to the H.J. Russell and & Company and Concessions International Enterprises. In 2003, Michael Russell succeeded his father as CEO, embracing the growth of H.J. Russell and & Company and pushing it to the next level. As President and Chief Operating Officer since 1995, Jerome Russell serves as the company's visionary for strategic direction and new business development. For over 20 years, Donata Russell Major has played a vital role in Concessions International's daily operations and management of over 1,000 employees. Each of the members of the family have been brought up to not only receive the blessings of their father and mother, but to pass those blessings on to the other aspects of the community and to people who are very much in need. I will tell you that in this day and age, humility and integrity are components that are absolutely critical to survival in business. These children, in their own respects, all carry these qualities day in and day out. Michael is very steady, Michael is very deliberate, and Michael is educated as an engineer. Jerome is very entrepreneurial. He loves people, he loves meeting people, and therefore he is the quintessential salesperson. Donata is always there with a smiling face, her regal charm that gives people a sense of, of ease. In addition to imparting traits and skills vital to business, Mr. Herman Russell taught his children the importance of family and sticking together. The way I know the Russells is that classic story we were all taught when we were young. You never know who you might meet and how many times your paths might cross. Well, I go back to 1974. A friend of mine's like Donata. Jerome was 12 and, Jerome, and uh, Michael was nine. Now, when we walked in the house, my friend and I, Mr. Russell, I saw out the corner of my eye, look at Michael and Jerome, and he did this. Like, you know, watch them while they're here with your sister, Donata. But they both sat in the living room with us the entire time with their arms crossed, looking like Gary Coleman, like, uh, what you talking about, Willis? And they just watched us the whole evening, and that was a very short visit. And I told my friend, I don't know why you're even bothering, man, because, um, Mr. Russell's got an eye on you, and so does his sons. As family bonds grew, generational values and work ethics began to follow. Then in 1977, I was renting an apartment, and lo and behold, who did I rent an apartment from but Mr. Russell. I had to call for some service one day, and these two guys came. By then, Michael was 12 and Jerome was 15, but they had on fake mustaches looking like the utility men. Now, I'm not saying it was them, but I swore I saw Mr. Russell sitting in the parking lot doing this to them like I'm watching y'all work. So again, they might have been just some guys who look like them, but I think they were our uh, maintenance men in our apartments. And by the way, Mr. Russell, when I moved, I hadn't given my new address. I never did get my security deposit of $240. And 36 years later, by my calculations, you owe me $2,362, Mr. Russell. I've known the Russell family since I was a little girl, and that was over 50 years. We grew up together and played together and babysat one another's families. Danea and I are each oldest children in our families, and I think there's a very natural sense that each of us should take care of our siblings, that we should take care of our parents, our ultimately our communities and our families at large. 
When she went to college, I'm not sure she knew exactly what she wanted to do. Uh, I think that she was absolutely clear that she could succeed anywhere because we had come through a very difficult time in high school. It was the height of integration and we made it through to the other side. So no matter where she studied or what she encountered in life, she was very clear that she was very blessed to have an extraordinary education, that she had a loving family, but that she had responsibilities to give back. The Nate has always been like a Southern Dale very uh, polite, very well-spoken, proper. She still calls me Mr. Moody, even though we're not much difference in age. Even when we were young, hello, Mr. Moody, that's Denada always. Michael Russell is a wonderful person, but I remember him as a little boy just being as rambunctious as you might imagine. He was very inquisitive, but he was also extremely sensitive. That continues today. I served as a babysitter then, I serve as a big sister and a colleague today. We worked at Grady Hospital to help turn around the Level 1 Trauma Center for Metropolitan Atlanta. He was one of the first to come to Grady's rescue when it was about to close in 2008. He serves on the board today and I had the privilege of helping to raise money to support Grady. Jerome, I thought this was for Michael Russell. Jerome, really? No, I'll do it anyway, it's all right. I'll tell you one funny Jerome story is, uh, that sticks out for me is, he and I are both uh, members of a club, Young Presidents Organization. And uh, many years ago, uh, we took a trip to St. Bart's on a boat. And my wife, Kimberly, and Jerome and Stephanie, we went to a restaurant to eat very early, must have been 5, 30, 5, 45. Uh, Walked in the restaurant, totally empty, not a person in there. And the maitre d' said he couldn't take us because they were full. And uh, I said, there's nobody in here at all. He said, well, you know, we have reservations, people coming. We argued with him for a while, but we eventually walked out. And when we were walking out, I said to Jerome, you see, prejudice is alive and well everywhere. He said, yeah, you're right, but I just can't figure it out. I said, what can't you figure out? He said, how'd they know you were Jewish? That's kind of the relationship between me and Jerome. In all seriousness, JR, I love you. I want to tell you, I think it's great, and congratulations. Congratulations to you, Denada, Michael, and Jerome. Congratulations, and I know your mother is very, very proud of all of you. Oh, by the way, when Michael and Jerome sit in meetings now, their feet actually touch the ground. If you really want to see something funny, ask Jerome to dance. It's something to see. Anyway, guys, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. And Mr. Russell, I do want my uh, deposit back. You still owe me that money. To the Russell family, congratulations on being inducted into the 29th anniversary J. Mac Robinson College of Business Hall of Fame. You rock. Janata, Jerome, and Michael, we salute you. 